Hey, hey, hey. I uh, put a post up about this little beast on Reddit, and a bunch of you guys really liked it. Um, so I figured since I need to do some more stuff, I'd be constantly doing some more things on this little guy. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a teardown and um, just fix a few of my problems, uh, specifically in here with the backlight. Um, I may have torn a cable, so I'll be fixing it with some uh, network cable. Um, I do have this stuff, which I pulled out of a super old mouse, um, but this is, uh, what is it? It's like, the coating on it is, it's like a metallic coating, non-conductive, of course, um, but I just feel with constantly opening and closing of the case, it may wear down and um, short out somewhere further down the line. Anyway, um, eventually I would like to put in a switch, I don't know, somewhere maybe up here or in the hinge or you know, somewhere that's not going to interfere with the opening and closing, somewhere that's not going to interfere with where your fingers are. Um, I have a USB-C charge port I may integrate somewhere and put a audio jack in somewhere. That's me. Hello! Um, but that's for a later date. It's not even a definite. It's a possibility. Um, I've got a original DS battery pack in here. Um, all you have to do to get these things in is um, cut off a little tab that stops it from fitting and then it fits and it's got a um, at 580 milliamp battery whereas the original which mine's I got rid of that real quick it's starting to you can't really see it it's bulging a little bit and um, it's not the good it needs to go but that's a where is it where can I see 600 milliamp so the original DS battery is a bit of an upgrade for this Anyway, for those of you who haven't seen the original post, it's uh, got a case light. And um, this will be printed on proper arcade um, translite at some point. I'll be doing a heap of designs um, just so it you know, comes out better. Uh, I'm not happy about this, but this is something that you can't really avoid to begin with anyway because you need to do some cutting to the case itself to make everything fit in here nice and schmick -like. and um, unfortunately I can't really get away with it but as it stands it looks most excellent my dudes the screen is absolutely amazing like viewing angle is insane And, um, yeah, really happy with it. Anyway, I'm going to pull this apart and, um, let's do some edits. Okay, so we got the back shell off, and, uh, here's where I screwed up last time. I got some tape over it because I, I tore the cable. That's the, um, <laughs> that's the cable that goes in here to the backlight. As you can see, it, it dips around in here and uh, I need to replace that so uh, that's where this is going to come into play yeah fun times but uh, while I'm at it I'll probably um, solder in the the wire for the um, IPS brightness adjust I haven't done that yet um, but this will be taken apart and put back together multiple times so um, I don't want to do some heavy anchoring yet, I guess. <laughs> oh, let's, let's get these cables replaced. So for these cables, I'm just going to use some, um, Ethernet cable. Um, uh, I don't know how much do I need. Let's say 
I mean, there, maybe. I mean, it seems like heaps, but I guess we'll see where this goes. What we know where it's going, it's going straight in to our Game Boy. Anyway, let's get rid of the um, the blue shielding with my flush cutters. I mean, this may work, this may not work, but I figured you know network cable is fairly thin, so put a heap of um, that fiber in here. So. But judging by the gauge, uh, this is going to be perfect. Damn. This is going to take a while. <laughs> I'll be back. So it didn't, um, <laughs> it didn't take as long as I thought it would, but, um, this is actually going to be really nice. Um, I ended up just pulling it out. Had a bit of packing of, uh, whatever that is. Fibers, cotton stuff. I mean, I don't play with network cable, so whatever it is, I don't know. It's some fairly stiff cable which uh, should should work good um, but because they're they're braided together um, this is nice very nice okay so I think I will use this white and orange that'll work let's do it Okay, so all my screws are out. Let's get to the goodies. So this is what's inside. Uh, this is where I had to trim down. It's all scratched up and janky. and It's a mess. I, I don't like it. I mean, I did it with flush cutters and um, I just thought that if I hit it with a Dremel or if I tried sanding it, all it's going to do is it's going to scratch up the rest of this shell and it's going to look absolutely horrible, like worse than what it already is. So I mean there's not much I could do to avoid that uh, considering um, you, this is required to do um, to fit in the IPS screen mod. So. It is what it is, really. Anyway, here's the guts. This is what you guys want to see. So this is, um, at the moment, just printed out on plain A4 paper as a test fit. Um, I ran this through Photoshop, created this, um, checked my sizings. Uh, it needed a bit of trimming down here, probably needs more trimming, but this is why I allowed for black borders. And you don't really see it when it's lit up and it's in the in the case anyway. Um, so uh, even as a test, I reckon this um, turned out really well. So yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, here's what you guys want to see. So this is the... Uh, front light kit for the original Game Boy Advance this thing um, yes this is an original black Game Boy Advance shell and needs a bit of cleaning um, but I'll be keeping this because you know Australian coded exclusive apparently I um, I had no idea it was an exclusive to like, Toys R Us or something. I've just had it for years. Anyway, um, so this is the front light kit for the original Game Boy Advance. Um, this is from Handheld Legend. I haven't bothered removing the films because I don't need to. 
And um, I've just repurposed this. It fits really nicely inside this shell. Um, equivalent to where the screen goes. Um, so if you want to actually see, uh, where did I put it? There it is. It's, this is it. So this fits right inside here. So it ju sits just above these um, screw posts. And um, when it's turned on, it lights up the whole deal. So I actually damaged these wires, the positive and negative, in here while trying to close the case. Um, so I'm going to be replacing these two wires with my wherever it went um, wire that I pinched from that network cable. I was actually looking for um, a diode which I can't find. It's not necessary I guess but it will uh, eventually burn out the LEDs more than likely if I don't have it. Um, so when you're doing the battery mod for the original GBA um, you use a, a small diode and that prevents any damage or any shorts from the um, the battery to the Game Boy itself. Where this is annoying me. <laughs> Where did I put this cable? It's all right. Okay. Uh, since I've lost it, I guess I'll I'll strip down. You <laughs> use green and white then. Jeez. Gotta keep track of my stuff. Um, but anyway, I think all it does is it's just a, a voltage regulator. And it just brings the voltage down a notch um, so it doesn't burn out the LEDs. And um, happy days, good to go. This is going to be a really long video. But well, hopefully you stick with me and see something pretty, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to replace these. Um, there is actually inside here... Um, Oh crap, it's going to be difficult now. So I've run my wires up through here, but you can see a... Oh crap, I'm losing buttons. Uh, in here, there's a little post. I think it's just a support post for the case. Um, it doesn't seem to be... necessary? Oh no, 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 it is necessary. It's for the uh, triggers. Oh, well that... There goes that idea. I was going to um, cut a notch for my cables. Well, that's not happening. Oh well. Let's fix this mess. Alright, so I, uh, I didn't use the network cable. But instead I've been using the uh, wires I pulled from the mouse. Um, what I've done is I've taken a positive, connected it here, and then um, tied them both together. Sort of down here with some uh, heat, heat, heat shrink. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I've repaired the cables, tied them together, uh, protected the my solders from um, shorts and. Uh, Time to put this back in. Yay! So that's just going to fit in right here. And um, I'm going to feed my wires down you know, through the, the curl and the uh, ribbon cable for the screen. Uh, I've also gone ahead and soldered down the uh, brightness button. Nice. All right, let's get this thing back together. Okay, cool. So I've uh, replaced my cables and it's all looking pretty and nice. And uh, put this back together and do a power test and see if it works. I mean, it's gonna come undone again anyway because I'm gonna have to put a switch in somewhere, but 
that's for a, a later date. So that's it. We're all back together, besides uh, one screw. Um, <laughs> I've got spares, but geez, I'd I'd like to know where it went. Oh, well. we'll put that back in that and uh, the the rubber rubber pads. They'll all go back in, but uh, I'm going to pull it apart again anyway, and whatever. But we now have functional brightness control. And we're still glowy. That's all repaired. Nice. Um, hang on, let's, let's put this in. Pokemon Outlaw. Make sure all our buttons work. Yep. Uh, don't care. Yep. B, so everything is sweet. Success! So uh, that's it. Anyway, uh, I hope you learned something. I've <laughs> I'm constantly learning stuff. I'm constantly breaking stuff and learning how to fix it again. But that's it. It's not really a tutorial. It's just a, I guess a an update um, on what the current situation is. I mean, this is not finished. Uh, this needs a switch for the backlight, and um, I'm probably going to make a, a couple of these orange. You know, just to blend in with the whole Unit 1 Evangelion thing. Um, but definitely a power switch for the backlight. Uh, a diode as well for the backlight. Um, and I will be uh, making my own uh, light. Because it saves money. For me, anyway. Um, I've got a bunch of parts coming, but I would like to, you know, get into another one and at least RGB color cycle, um, some of these buttons, like A and B and whatever. I mean, it's something different. It'd be fun. But, that's it for this one, until I get proper prints and it looks great. Uh, this is, this is done. Send it. See you guys.